What's up Star Wars fans, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another video, another Star Wars 6 inch Black Series action figure review. Uh, starting to get into the last sort of few figures of 2018. Starting to really wind down. Um, I've got the last few sort of come in. One more I'm waiting on. Uh, that should be in early next week. So I've got a few reviews to put up. Um, I hope you enjoy them. This is to be the first one. Uh, we have Rio Durant from Solo, a Star Wars story, and uh, yeah, this is a this is an absolute knockout figure. Um, he is he is absolutely fantastic. He's unreal, um, and he's he was one of my favourite characters from the movie. Uh, spoiler alert: unfortunately, he didn't see too far into it, um, but he definitely left an impact. Um, Really well done um, as a character, voiced by John Favreau. Uh, yeah, he, he came out like he was a really good character. I really enjoyed him. Good humor. Um, he's just a good spirited character. Um, unfortunately, met his end too soon. But this the figure of him is absolutely incredible. We get a good close up look of his face there. So we've got this headset on and his goggles. Goggles are removable. They sort of just sit on his head. They were a little bit stuck on um, when I took him out of the uh, took him out of the bubble from the box. Um, but they sort of loosened up and come off quite easily. Um, I may even I may even stick them back on. I'm getting a bit of a close up look. They are translucent so you can see through them, which is nice. Look at that little face. He's fantastic. Lots of detail, lots of articulations, some accessories, including those goggles that I just showed you. Sort of flight suit and all this life support systems in his in his sort of vest belt straps there. His forearms. Just a really nicely done figure. This blaster here as well in this hand, which I'm pretty sure is the same as the uh, TIE pilots. Could be wrong, it's very similar. And this one, which is uh, unique to Rio. Not a great amount of no paint detail on it, but it's fine. It's got the working holster down here for that small smaller blaster. Sort of fits well. Sort of belt sits a bit loose around his uh, waist there, but he's got a waist joint just underneath, so it hides it well. It's a nice soft, malleable plastic on that white belt, um, so you can get a lot of flex out of it. There is a peg there. Let's stick it into the leg. I may glue that one in so you can still get that. Still get a lot of movement with that so being a really soft plastic, which is great. Some of the other bits of clothing he's got on his sleeves. Sort of those metal cuffs sort of halfway up. And the uh, bit of armor or something just around the forearms there. to his other his feet. It's a really nice looking figure. I haven't tried to see if this is removable yet, but it just looks like it just pegs into pegs into that ear. And it's quite tight so I'm not going to try and pull that out at this stage. Fine, just sitting there for the moment. A really, really good looking figure. He looks great with the rest of the crew. Being that he has an extra couple of arms too, he's got a few extra points of articulation on this one, which is good. 
Um, he's got the sort of ball joint head. It feels like there's a second joint in there. Ball hinges in the elbows, uh, shoulders, elbows, wrists. We've got an upper torso joint. It's up here. And we've got a lower torso joint as well. And he's just dropping all bits and pieces now. Ball hinged hips. No swivel at the thigh. That's okay, he's got short legs. Uh, single joint and then the knees, which gets quite a lot of movement anyway. And then a ball socket in the, in the ankle there. And then a hinge in that ankle as well. So double joints in the ankles. So allow for a little bit extra movement. Which is really good. forward to taking some shots with this guy. I've got a couple of ideas planned. Yeah, definitely recommend this one if you're a fan of Solo, the movie. Just another interesting, cool looking character. I just noticed there is a slight paint blemish there with some lighter blue spots, so you could probably check on that. It's not too much of a problem. I don't think it's has it ruined it for me. So it's a good one. Really good figure. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Interested to hear what you have to say. Next up, we're taking a look at a couple of exclusives. One that's not really an exclusive, and one that's only an exclusive now. It's the uh, Hoth set with Han and Leia. Uh, Layer, of course, being individually released as well, and Han getting a future individual release, so we're going to take a look at them next. And by next week, I should have Lando in Skiff disguise, so he'll be the next one after them. So until then, guys, may the Force be with you.